somebody call a doctor because bad medicine is back. That's the answer. This is the Appleton Oak. I'm Mason Quinn. Guys, tonight we are finishing out the trilogy for now. Anyways, we're taking a look at 2017's mm. War for the Planet of the Apes. Now, you guys have been awesome in the comments with these, uh, giving us a ton of uh, insider info. Of course, we have the great Andy Circus back. Uh, this season. guy can just do anything. I mean, for motion capture, you know, Schmiegel, what a legend. Caesar. Uh, Butler, <laughs> Alfred, you know, <laughs> he can do it all. Guy's done it all. So I'm really looking forward to this one. Uh, it looks like we have a young actress, uh, judging by the poster, mm -hmm. who's going to be in this somehow. And I'm sure there's a time jump, so I can't wait. All I know is that Woody Harrelson is in it. So, you know, <laughs> it's going to be good that way. So I'm definitely ready, willing, and able to see how this trilogy comes to a close. Yeah, I'm really curious as to what sort of time jump we're looking at, whether it's going to be... Um, or whether there is a time jump, I suppose you're just, yeah. assuming, oh, yeah. assuming. Yeah. You're just yeah. assuming there's a time jump. You know what um, they say about assuming. Uh, but I there's just... obviously a follow-up. We had a major, um, you know, kind of a, a major breakdown in the relations between the apes and the humans. And the kind of the curious thing that we saw is Gary Oldman's character towards the end said that the military was already on their way down. So um, we, we, you know, we kind of expected that at some point things were going to go south. Of course, with the title of the movie being War for the Planet of the Apes, we know what's bad. I'm just curious as to is it a 10 year time jump, 20, six months later? Um, Caesar, obviously, our guy is uh, he's still around. Koba is long gone, mm -hmm. but uh, I'm, I'm excited for this one. I know huh? Mason Quinn uh, yeah. has some anxiety. Yeah, it's been having nightmares. With the primates, but uh, I love this stuff. So Koda dual wielding machine guns on the back of a horse going through fire. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. They better not do it to me this time. Answer. Well, without further ado, let's see if that happens and let's go. Getting us all up to speed here. Okay, okay so two, two years. years. Oh, so the uh, the army was pretty successful. Yeah, they were. At... Mm, yeah. Oh, I, I like how they did this intro. It's. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh, they got somebody working with them. What the hell? Look at that. Yeah. It looks like there's more of them inside. One of them is armed, and our donkeys just spotted another trench. Just using them to haul gear. <laughs> you know, this trilogy has done an amazing job with battle scenes. They've been really good. Yeah. The level of just drama and it's just... I, I guess anxiety is, is, is a good word for it. It's just. Yeah, that's what the whole last movie was. It was like two hours of pure anxiety. What's going on here? Oh, we got back up. We got a lot of it. I see branded on the. That's what it looks like. Oh, boy. What are they throwing? I don't know if they're just smoke or if they actually go boom. Oh, that's a lot of arrows. Oh. It's smoke, so they can come in and they can come in and shoot all the arrows okay. without being seen. You don't know what you got, you turn We're looking for that man and the captain is dead, sir. Okay, calm down. Sorry. You kill us, man, you can't. No, no, no. no. Oh, wow. I don't think they're going to want to be taken prisoners. Is this going to be Caesar? Must be the way they're it's acting. Be Caesar. Yep, yep, there he is. Oh, they, oh, they got the monkey, too. I didn't see that they got the other one. So oh, he did. You're him. You're Caesar. Some of us started to think that you might be dead. 
But Colonel McCullough said you were out here somewhere. Just kill us already. They're animals. He's gonna slaughter us. I did not start this war. His name was Koba. I killed him. I know these apes. They follow Koba. Oh, oh, that explains it. Okay. They fear what I will do to them. God. Okay, so oh, Caesar's Caesar. vocabulary has gotten significantly fear. more advanced. You must fear their colonel has all power. He say, first Caesar died, then all of you die. <laughs> It's winter. winter. It's winter. Nice. <laughs> Are you gonna send him away? You letting us go? Tell your colonel. You have seen me now. Leave us. The woods and the killing can't stop. They are the message, Maurice. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh. Koba still haunts us. Jesus again. Is it a warning? Maybe these guys are scouts or something. <laughs> I was going to say, is that a center guy rocket? <laughs> yeah, so that's both his sons, right? Yeah. So the, the little baby that was born, he's two years old now, so yeah. Uh, Cornelius. <laughs> oh, another one. Another baby. Oh, so there's a ton of like little monkeys running around. Yeah. Too. So it's what do like... you think they're all eating? Well, I remember we saw them take a elk or deer or yeah, whatever that was. True. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> sand. Who's that? Sand. We must find. A safe way out of the woods, apes, together. Yep, they've been saying that since the first one. Mm -hmm. Get the green light from here. Wait a minute. Oh, no. They're coming back? Yeah, those are, uh, those are green lights from... Yeah. They're optics. Uh, yeah, from M4s, probably. I'm not going to show mercy this time. I told him, leave him alone. Yeah. Lima 40 command, Colonel. It's for, it's for Batman got the idea, yeah. I think. King Kong is dead. Recognize Let's that go. voice? I get oh, up from here. Here. I'm pretty sure he just deleted Caesar's son. Oh. So was that the son and his and his wife, I yeah, guess? Yeah. Uh, I think so. Lack of better term. Oh. Cut the rope on him. He thinks he took out Caesar, though. Yeah. That's what he thought, yeah. And then he saw Caesar. Yeah, but does he know that that's, that's Caesar? That's good he question. Took out the, does he think he took out the leader and now it's yeah. over? Oh. 
Hopefully that's... Okay, Cornelius. You left my son. Look after his brother until I return. You must. So who's gonna kind of take the lead for the apes and Maurice maybe That's or Maurice yeah. Rocket? I think. Yeah. Oh, somebody's following him. <laughs> that dude's a little, a little big to be on the horse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that poor horse. Make it back. I mean, the CGI on this arrangement is just on all of them. It's, uh, I mean, uh, it's, it's, just, it's we've seen the how it progressively better it's from you know unbelievable from yeah. rise to dawn and all this. Now, are we going to find guards or somebody else? No. Oh. Wait, that wasn't Caesar's gun, though. Caesar's got a shotgun. That sounded like full auto, didn't mm -hmm. it? I wonder if, yeah, deserter. Yeah. <laughs> How's that for a sight? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. slay girl. Yep. Take what you can. Oh, is he gonna write? Oh, the do dolly. Oh, it's a doll. She got a bloody nose yeah, or something. Must be sick or something. Uh, uh. <laughs> Come. Yeah, Caesar's not uh, not too worried about that. Yeah, right now, like he he's got other... he gave his last, you know. Yeah, that was the last straw that he gave hope to human. You cannot take her, Maurice. Oh, isn't. This looks like it's a scene out of the original. Yeah, with the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> it was Earth all along. Sorry, the Simpsons version where they did it. Planet of the Apes musical. <laughs> you blew it all up. That's the one thing I know. Oh. No. Oh, yeah. yeah. So he is branded. Yeah. Where's the colonel? Ooh, they are not happy with him. I'm a guessing See, someone yeah. spit the plan. Oh. Um, I think he's out of forgiveness. Son, wife, mm. are dead. <laughs> Winter. Did he take him out? Yeah, it looks that way. <laughs> Is he seeing Koba? Yeah, he's seeing things. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a few things. They Drive right into a storm or one? I don't know. I mean, maybe apes, maybe. Well, you think they'd be that far north? Is that other soldiers? Other soldiers? You think they maybe had traitors too? <laughs> no, isn't that the guy that they no, let that, go? Yeah. Oh, that is one. Yeah, of the yeah that's the uh, one dude that called them just a bunch of animals. Yeah. I did this. Oh. 
Oh, was that a different guy then? That must have been yeah. a different guy. I don't think that was the same guy. No, no. I, I think you're right. I don't okay. think it was. He's nodding his head like he wants it. Winter said they were going to a border. Uh-oh. I just wants to steal one of the horses. Maybe. Now, is that a human, though, or is that an ape? Look, it's got some short legs. Oh, I never even thought of that. Yeah. That's a lovely There's, house. It's a Superman's <laughs> house. <laughs> Looks like a fortress uh, of solitude. It's the, it's the Ice Queen from Narnia. Yeah, nobody's living in that place right now. Well, there's your footprints. Do those footprints look a little weird to you? I think it's an another ape in there. And if it was a human, Caesar probably weighs less. Maybe the horse would have ridden faster. The footprints looked weird in the mm -hmm. snow. It is a gorilla. Look at that! Look at the way it's walking. Mm. Either, oh, but a gorilla wouldn't. Either that hands or up like that. Yeah. Either that or have to apologize to the actor. Yeah, a gorilla wouldn't put their hands. <laughs> yeah, the small. Don't oh, no, look. Put their hands is. up like that. We were right. Bad ape. What? We can talk. What? It's got the green eyes. Are you alone here? <laughs> Gold. Oh, he doesn't have a lot of fur, so he's oh. got to wear a jacket. Oh, well, he's going to give it to her. Cold. How long have you been here? Long time. <laughs> hmm. Sierra Zoo. Uh, are there more like you? Hold it. Long time. Human gets sick. Ape. Get smart. You learn to speak. Listen, bad ape. Oh, that's that's what they called him. That's what he thinks his name is. Uh, oh, I'm okay. <laughs> All right, we're finally getting a little levity and comedy oh. here in this movie. Well, I, I think I recognize in. the voice, and I I think I know who that is. It's uh, Steve Zahn. Uh, oh, you know, yeah, yeah, I you know, know him if, he, if he's yeah. that. Too. It's Steve Zahn from like uh, uh, in Strange Wilderness, that thing you do. Steve Zahn is from Saving Silverman. Well, Saving Silverman. <laughs> that is what Steve Zahn is from. Oh. Where did you get this? Bad place. I find human zoo. Oh, hospital. Sick human. Climb. Oh, they all get sick. All, all dead now in a long time. Soldier. Oh, because then they can grab stuff. Mm -hmm. Can you take us? No, 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 go back there. Never go back. No. Please, you must take us. No, 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 take, no, take, no, take. You rest, stay here with me. Here, you keep. Uh, oh, cool. <laughs> Chevy. Nova. Nova, too. <laughs> Who is? Oh, he's got a little blanky. I don't know. She has no one else. I see you looking at her just now. Look. Is that you have a child? No. Oh. Oh. I had a child. You think you find him? No. Oh. oh, he wants some revenge, too. Maybe. I take you. Oh, you big old softy. Usually it's Marisa's yeah. the big softy. <laughs> <laughs> is he wearing boots? Yeah, yeah, I think he, he is. has been. <laughs> 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 
guy doesn't have a lot of hair. Yeah, he has very little Are hair. Are you kidding me with this guy? <laughs> He's got a vest and a hat. Come on. Hey. Okay, she's picking up a little bit. Oh, jeez. Two lighters. Oh, oh. Oh, no. Oh. Where did he catch it in the chest? Or the stomach, it looked like. Yeah. I don't think so, man. Oh. Uh, of course, they had a heartwarming moment. Yeah. Well, and that's giving Caesar some hope too. You know that if if a human feels bad, dang it! <laughs> they must pay. It was a mistake bringing you all. I will finish this all. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Damn. Oh, man. Is this another dream sequence? No, I think those are other apes they got. And then, oh, they got them caged. They caught them all. Yeah. Oh, it's a trap for Caesar. My little son, is he here? Grant and Lee. Is that the guy he let go? Yeah, that was Preacher. You're probably not much of a reader, but this is a big moment. And I was surprised you weren't with him. <laughs> Have you finally come to save your apes? I came for you. Who did I kill that night? My wife. My son. I'm sorry. How did you know I was here? I was told. Well, there's Cornelius. You know, why is the colonel keeping Caesar alive, though? What does he want with him? He wants yeah, all the other apes to work, and he feels like if he keeps Caesar alive, he'll do what's in the best interest of keeping the others alive and try to yeah. keep them working. Because I mean, he came there to 86 Caesar before. He feels like if he would have been with him, this wouldn't have happened. Yeah. Oh, oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the hell is this? What is going on? <laughs> I'm getting like almost like Apocalypse Now vibes mm -hmm. out of uh, Woody's character oh, they're here. Getting them all out of the cage to go do work. Well, if they're not feeding them or giving them water, this is a short term project. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Isn't that like in one of the Planet of the Apes? I don't know. I never saw the originals. He had something done to him by the, by the apes, I thought. There you go. Now they're all getting behind Caesar. Uh, is, 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 yeah, we go good. Oh, my 
Tell them to get back to work. Oh. oh. Five. Three. Oh, they don't want Caesar gone. String him up, donkey. He's, He's looking at it backwards. backwards. Why so small? Oh, I mean, you need a little bit of humor in this. I mean, that's, I don't know. The last one didn't have much. What did the colonel promise you? You let them call you donkey. You are. <laughs> Okay, maybe now we'll find out the plan here why they got the apes working. They'll get food and water when they finish their work. What makes you think you're in a position to make demands? The soldiers who are coming here, they're not coming to join you, are they? <gasps> there we oh. go. Impressive. No. They fear me. Because you kill your own men. Something wrong with these men. Jesus Christ, you are impressive. Is the disease mutating or something? You have no mercy. You came here to kill me. Were you going to show me mercy? I showed you mercy when I spared your men. Including the guy that's uh, to his right, left. Right, right there. there. Right. Do you have any idea what your mercy would do to us? The irony is we created you. Nature has been punishing us for our arrogance ever since. 10 months ago, I sent out recon units. My own son was a soldier with one of the units. One day he suddenly stopped speaking. He became primitive. It is. Then the man who cared for him stopped speaking too. The virus that every human survivor still carries suddenly changed. Oh no, it yeah. is. Yep. You talk about mercy, what would you have done? I realized that I would have to sacrifice my only son so that humanity could be saved. I pulled the trigger. I gave the orders to kill the other infected, all of them. Some of the men questioned my judgment, so I had them killed too. Others with children deserted into the woods. Oh, that's who we saw. In, in, no! He's <laughs> got that, that fast in that hat. You ready? Oh. Well, they got him water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's uh, not how that's supposed to work. A little reminder. Mm -hmm. No, no climb. No. Apocalypse. Yeah. Hey, there we go. There it is. Oh. No, friend. Oh, and then remember she can't speak. Yeah. No, come. Oh, is he seeing Koba? Yeah. You cannot save him. Join me. Oh, that's the gorilla talking to him. Yeah. It goes to work like everyone else. Will you shoot him? See, go in. Well, I mean, how uh, long until they notice? Like, hey, yeah, a little she kid can't talk. Around. Well, yeah, and then when they find out she can't talk, I mean. Oh, 
Oh, I wonder if he's going to recognize her as being one of the deserter's kids. Boy, I don't know how they're going to get out of this one. Oh, food. Yeah, food. Taking food to him. It's weird. This back and forth between humanity and, and what it apes. means, you know, to to have empathy. And mm -hmm. okay, shown we're still there for you, apes strong together. Mm -hmm. Well, at least it's relatively easy for her to hide. <laughs> A little infiltration here. Oh! Yeah, Chimp isn't taking on a silverback. No. Interesting. He uh, went he, wide left. Yeah, well, he's thinking more uh, workers. He's trying to figure out if he's as smart as Caesar. Are there others out there? Sweep the area. Okay, so now we're down to Maurice and uh, Steve Zahn. Steve Zahn. Uh, bad ape. Bad ape. Bad ape. <laughs> they just keep referring to him as bad ape. <laughs> oh. What if he's going in to show the other ones where the hole is? Yeah, he could. I, I don't, yeah, because it looked like it was on like an old railroad track. Oh, bad. yeah, I don't yeah. think it was inside the, the, the pen. Still alive. Well, get a late night snack and yeah, drink. A little bit of water. Food and water. Yeah. Send him to the quarry alone. How long? Uh oh. Oh, he's gonna find grain in there. Yeah, some kernels of grain. Oh, oh no, <laughs> doll. Even worse. Well, what is this? Good and lower. It's interesting that he didn't just ask him, given that. Caesar can have pretty much regular yeah. human conversation. Oh, they're telling him how far to dig. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, preacher. When's your moment going to come here? Gonna shoot apes when war is done. <laughs> God, I love oh, are we flooding? 35, 36, 37. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 uh, no, too close. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Ooh, her dam's not holding up too well. Well, good thing Maurice didn't get any further. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh okay. We're gonna have to fight. Oh, oh, of course. We know what that is. Of course. You animals! Who wants it? Oh, my God, again. Oh. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, they could have thrown one of those big ass rocks in there yet. Oh, and the gun. Oh. oh. Well, just in case. Oh, <laughs> it's like Christmas oh, time on. or something. It's music. Oh my God, this is. Uh oh. Okay, that's where oh, they're purposely they catch oh. him. <laughs> No, they're, they're all going to take each other out. Yeah, just just get out of there. All right, you must go. This was right. I am my cobra. He could not escape his hate. Boy, the close-ups they do with the CGI are just so good. I mean, I know we said it before, but wow. Oh, there, the attack has started. Well, they got out of there just in yeah. the time. Look at that scene. Oh, helicopter going oh. down. Oh, his nose is bleeding. He's sick. Just, just yep. like the, the girl. Yeah, had the, he's got the, it. Yeah, oh. there he is. Yeah, the doll had the it doll. on there. Because it was around her. That's oh what did it. God, they remember that's doll, why they burned they the clothes burned and everything. everything. Yep. The doll. Oh, he wanted him to yeah. do it himself. Ooh. Ooh. No. Here's your chance for redemption, yep. donkey. Jesus, dude. I mean, come on. Oh, oh no, did he get hit? He got hit with a cross one of the bolts from Yeah, bucket. no. God damn it, Donkey! Give me the launcher. Oh. oh, I guess he got the launcher. Yeah, Donkey got the launcher, all right. Well, here we thought it was going to be Preacher, but he had a yeah. good call with maybe it's him. No! Oh. Oh, we got a oh. hell of a chain reaction there. Look at that shot. <sighs> oh, that one's about to go yeah. too. Sounds like I'd a, a tea kettle. You. <laughs> oh. 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 That place is donezo. Yeah, you guys got to bail. Get the hell out. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. they had a way bigger arm yeah. than those other guys. Oh, boy. We got an avalanche. I was going to say they could climb the trees. Oh, yeah. the trees. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh, what was Woody saying about nature? Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 My dude, yeah. be fast! How did he climb up there with boots on? Hey, he's got <laughs> their big boots too. <laughs> ah, nice curly. All right. Yeah, you'll yeah. be all right. Maybe Arizona here? Is that where we are? Or just a different spot in California? Lake Tahoe? Is that where they're at? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They've got trees. They've got a lake. Yeah. Oh, he's been... Yeah, it wasn't like they are able to tend to it. Got to pull through for his kid and his wife, though. His wife. Not his wife. His wife's gone. Or, Remember, yeah, that's, that's Lake. That's right. That was Lake. Yeah, yeah. That was in love yeah. with his son. Yeah, Lake and Cornelius, though. We know who was father. Oh, that answers that. And what Caesar did for us. You know, people in the comments are going to have so much fun because I know for a little bit there we thought, oh, maybe, maybe Preacher will come around and he's having a little uh, case of his conscience. Yeah, what a play out. Maybe he'll help out. And no, as it turns out, he uh, ended up being the guy who took out Caesar. So not the finish that I was expecting, but you know, this one was a lot of fun. It felt a bit different from the other two. And I don't know if it was because, uh, with the addition of Steve Zahn and the little bit of comedy that we had with his character, um, the musical score was definitely different yeah. than the other two. And I don't know, maybe you guys in the comments can help out if that was music that was maybe inspired from the, the earlier ones from the sixties and seventies and that sort of thing. Like but it has to be. It's gotta I mean, be. Come on. I mean, I haven't heard like, that type like of you want to hear the, the ding, 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 like that had that yeah, it had in the last one. They were sneaking around looking oh, for then stuff. That they had too? The musical oh score, but yeah, like I said, this one definitely had a lot more uh, comedy to it than the other ones. And I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I know that these these movies are popular, and a lot of you guys out there really enjoyed it. Some of you said it's even your favorite trilogy, but man, I gotta say, these really kind of flew under the radar for me. And I don't know how you oh, guys yeah. feel, but it's like, yeah, I kind of knew about them, but you know, as I said earlier, wasn't really kind of into the whole genre and my uh, my my natural trepidation of, of you know, apes and primates <laughs> may have held me back a little. He's bit. still having the nightmares yeah. over the wielding two <laughs> oh, <laughs> on the horse. Cuba, give me a break. Uh, but uh, you know, the addition of Woody Harrelson in this was absolutely incredible. I mean, everybody knows how great of an actor Woody Harrelson is, and you can put him in anything, and he's going to deliver. And you know, this was no exception uh, to that. He did fantastic in this, and what, just what a twist at the end! Mm -hmm. where it was the it was the little doll that you know the girl had with her, and then you know that Maurice said, gave to her in the yep. very beginning, and had it the whole time, and it ended up in the in the cage, and that's what ended up doing him in, and it was. I think there's still a lot of questions with this and they could go one of two ways. I think with this, now, obviously we know there's another one in production, uh, because we do have answers are, of, are there more humans? Where did this uh, group of soldiers come from that were fighting Woody Harrelson's group? So, you know, they could definitely expand on it, which they are. Or if this was indeed the end of it and the end of this story, I think they wrapped it up just fine with the uh, everybody kind of finding their new home. There was, it looks like the answer at the bottom of this, there looks like there was a sequel section. Well, it's set uh, up here right here is that uh, Kingdom of the Planet of Apes is in development. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So or at least date of. So 2024, 2024. Okay, so not too far away. So we are getting another one for sure, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how that all plays out. Like it says, it says Kingdom, so I'm gonna have to assume nearly all of humanity is probably wiped out, and now it's down to just the apes. And who knows? Maybe a guy will show up in a spaceship or something. Oh. Uh, well, Nova was <laughs> the one that really. I think there was yeah. another sequel section further down that had a little bit more, might add more description. Mm. Uh, right there, if you scroll up just a little bit. 
Right, there's a little bit more sequel there. Go Kingdom of the Planet yeah. of the Apes. Okay. But yeah. Okay, well, yeah, well, we're not yeah, going to we'll, read that. We'll cover that. But <laughs> you just kind of wrap it up. I just, just wanted just a, like, a yeah, verification. Yeah, so we know. I don't want sure. like, to. No, I'm not trying to give myself spoilers. <laughs> just if there's more verification. Yeah, but no, this one was a lot of fun. A lot of you guys out there loved it. I can see why. This one was a lot of fun. I don't know if I can rate it as high as the other ones. Like I said, it was good, but it definitely... It felt like Planet of the Apes. Everybody did incredible. Andy Circus was amazing, as always. Um, but I think some of the uh, the different music and, and the little bit of the comedy, I, I don't know if it took me out of it or whatever, but I like Steve Zahn's character and everything, but it was it was a little hard to adjust from what I was uh, used to with the other two that what? we saw that were fantastic. So it isn't like I'm burying an answer. It's still a solid four out of five answers for me. Was- there was still there was plenty of comedy in the first one. The second one, fr- the second one was took nothing away but tension that. the whole time. Yeah, that was like, that's what's this, your heart rate? Yeah. And the Oldman does. Yeah, and then oh. that's what this one had yeah. as well too. But yeah, I mean, I, I thought mean, it was I a, still enjoy. I thought it was a great addition to bring them in because, like, since you're all tension filled, you need a little break from that from yeah. time to time. It wasn't over the top, but you could tell like he was. He was smart, but not super smart. He didn't know yeah. any sign language, so anytime and they would try to sign him, he's like. What? He was, he was what? Himself. And at first, when he said "bad ape, bad ape," I thought that's all he's gonna be able to say. This is gonna be interesting to how you use him. But no, he could somewhat speak. Andy Serk is a Caesar. What can he say? Woody Harrelson is so. Colonel is like, I love him so much that I love him so much that I hate him in this movie. You know, because he did such a great job at being this villain. And then the great plot of having her given the doll, having uh, Nova give the doll to Caesar, and then he take. Bring me the doll. So, I, oh, who had the doll that grabbed it to him? Yeah, I, we have to remember who gave that to him because th- then the same thing could have happened to them. Yeah, unless well, they're all taken the, care of now. Yeah, well, yeah, the <laughs> avalanche. I think he had. I think he had it preacher. Was, it was preacher. Yeah. Actually. So then, how come nothing happened to preacher? Oh, just. A and I wonder long, if I wonder if he if it touched him or something, or if he didn't have it as long. He just preacher touched might have it. Had gloves on. Yeah, it could have been any. Yeah. Who knows with what way this virus you know is absorbed. Yeah. You know, is it through the skin? Is it in the air? Is what did he and what did he do with the doll? But you know, I I had fun with this one. This one was a lot of I uh, like it had the tension. It had a little bit of cu- humor in it. I was gonna say comedy, and then I put coomer. So that's oh, that's a new word, coomer. So and then the performances were amazing. Just you think of like how all these actors were in CGI suits, so they can get their face doing everything they could do. And just uh, the score, I thought was great because, like, I uh, like let us know in the comments there had to be some inspiration from the previous yeah. films. There were some folks in the comments saying that there was a ton of Easter eggs from the earlier movies. If if you know them, well, you we'll know look the at Easter us eggs, that beach so. that beach scene. Yeah, I don't know if this will make the cut. The beach scene where they're on the horses. That uh, uh, to me, that was from what I remember of the early films. That was where they saw the Statue of Liberty and everything. Yeah, so do you mind scrolling up a little bit and seeing if it says near the end of the plot where they where they ended up? I just know that beach scene from Spaceballs. Uh, let's see, Peter, blah, blah, blah. Reach the Oasis. Oh, it just okay. says. Just the Oasis. Yeah, so that's, that's where know. they're looking. Maybe you guys in the comments yeah. might know where it is. But, I mean, it grossed $490 million, so it had to do a pretty good job. So I'm going to give it a 4.75 answer. All right. I, lo- I love this movie. And for me, um, I think this is my favorite of the trilogy. Um, they were all really good, though. I mean, like, this was mm-hmm. a very well done trilogy. Now, keep in mind, this is uh, done after there was a couple of reboots, like with Mark Wahlberg, that I think kind of kind of flopped for the most yeah, part. Yeah, I don't know what happened with those. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe we <laughs> didn't go have back. Andy Serkis. Maybe in we it, go maybe. back and watch them. <laughs> I mean, maybe it was a matter of, like, look, this, in order to make this realistic, and the first one I believe came out in 2011, right? Like the first one, the CGI was really good. This one, it felt like six years later, it was even a, a, a different level, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know if maybe, you know, audiences, you know, when the first few came out, were like, all right, it looks cheesy. They had expectations for better, um, better effects, but they just weren't there. I can't really speak to that. But these were these were phenomenal. I really loved the plot. Um, they did a great job from start to finish with, hey, this was an Alzheimer's drug that was supposed to help mm-hmm. brain development, and that's how the apes became more intelligent. Um, it's a really interesting, you know, hypothetical situation. What if certain species could talk? 
and communicate with us on a verbal level or on a sign language level. Now we know we can teach apes and chimpanzees sign language, um, and I believe they can. They, they, you know, there are 30 to 50 words and things like that. There's an old famous, and I believe it was. I don't know if it was Samson at the Milwaukee Zoo. We used to have a uh, famous um, silverback gorilla at the zoo here in, in Wisconsin. But I believe at one point, um, and I, I, I don't know if it was Samson, but he toured the sink off a wall accidentally or something. And when they asked who did it, he blamed it on the kittens that were living there. Oh, the, kitten, <laughs> the kittens tore the sink. So it was like this weird, like, guilt. He didn't want to be in trouble for it. Yeah. Um, but there's a level of communication. But it would be interesting, even if even if apes weren't, you know, uh, of advanced intelligence like they are in the movie, just if they could speak, what, what would mm -hmm. they say? You know, the, the things they would uh, try to communicate with us. Um, it was interesting to see how advanced uh, of a society the apes created for themselves yeah. when they were intelligent um they it was interesting they didn't really aside from the, the the firearms they didn't really seem to have much use for technology and anything if we know yeah that. No. Um, now with their advanced uh, um you know of course intelligence and everything like that and caesar's history of living in a house you wonder like would they have taken over some abandoned neighborhood and lived in houses and slept in beds? And they chose not to do that, which I think is interesting. They still kind of kept their core animal uh, instinct. Core instinct. Yeah, what made them them. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so, so I thought that was interesting. You know, the, the relationship in this final one between Caesar and, and Woody Harrelson's character, the, the colonel, um, was incredible. I mean, Woody Harrelson, he's he's brilliant in everything. Mm -hmm. He's another one of those actors. And look, we've listed people. You're, you're Tom Hanks, you're Harrison Ford's, you're Denzel Washington's. You know, your actors wear pretty much anything they're in. Gary you Oldman. know it's going <laughs> to... Gary Oldman, uh, Morgan Freeman. I mean, these actors wear... If they're in that movie, okay, you know it's going to be... It's just everything they do is going to be good. And Woody Harrelson um, nailed it. The, the interaction between... The colonel and caesar it's like it's like you don't feel like you're watching interaction between person and cgi <laughs> yeah like it, it, yeah. it makes you Sucked feel like you right you're in. there watching it um which was wild um i i am uh, agree with the answer i thought the addition of the comedy from bad ape was really good like look there's <laughs> bad there's, ape <laughs> look, there's a any abuse to animals, I think we all agree, yeah. is is a bad thing. And uh, obviously, this is a very dire situation with the world having come to the end. But the the mass, you know, um, delifing of you know hundreds and hundreds of apes in front of you. I mean, that's like a that's hard to watch. I mean, remember when um, uh, God Harambe the, the, the back in the Cincinnati Zoo? I mean, that took the whole nation kind of by surprise. And and imagine like. When you're watching, you know, uh, again, that level of violence against animals on a mass scale, it's hard to watch. And I think knowing that this was, you know, the first one was like how these guys develop. And yeah, there were some scenes. The second one, like how this is starting. Yeah, there were some bad scenes. This had some stuff that was really hard to watch in it. And I think that comedy, uh, I don't think it was forced. Um, I, I, You had this ape that learn to speak from watching people of course he got yelled at and said yep. bad ape that's what he thought its name was mm -hmm. brought great comic relief the addition of a jacket in the vest and a hat i mean just how brilliant <laughs> is that just enough to make you laugh because look this is a dark movie mm -hmm. like it's you're talking end of the world apocalyptic situations and now you find out you have one bad you know group of humans versus the other bad group of humans which by the way talk about an awesome plot twist to throw in there where it's not just the humans versus the apes and it's like you know one side versus the other side they're still infighting yep. between the humans and that's one thing that i'm really glad that they threw in there that this movie wasn't just about like humans versus apes and you know the the fight for survival of humans like they're infighting and the mutation which, of the virus which i yep. think is always going to happen like that's i mean and that's that's kind of a lesson they're slapping you in the face with too. Like, look, yeah. the world could literally be at its end, and you know we're we're worried about apes taking over in this virus, and we're still fighting amongst each other. You know, you still can't, you know, you still can't seem to work things out. But the virus mutation being kind of that catalyst for why they're fighting, at least yeah. here, was uh, was a very interesting twist. And of course, 
as you guys both brought up, interesting that that's how um, the colonel actually his his life was ended by a little doll brought in by yeah. a girl. Yeah. Um, and it's like when you, when you th think like everything happens for a reason, they came upon that settlement. You know, they were the the dad was probably going to pass away. Um, you know, Maurice decided to take the girl. The girl roamed into camp. She left her doll with Caesar. You know, she helped Caesar get strong. I mean, the way they tied everything together in this movie, I thought was I thought was incredibly brilliant. I thought the combination of action, the advanced CGI, the humor. I mean, that was good quality humor. Oh no, oh no. And it wasn't just it, like, it wasn't like overdone it and wasn't campy overdone. like you see in it some It wasn't movies. overdone yeah. and it was he was legitimately very nervous. Oh, he can't go in there, but it was funny the way he did it. So um, I can't quite go five on this. It's not a it's not a Shawshank or a you know a, an everything everywhere all at once for me. But I'm going I'm going about as close as I can. <laughs> oh look at that. I think I thought this movie was phenomenal and it's rare for me um, so far at least it, it just in movies period not just since we've been doing this reaction channel to think that a, a sequel especially a third one is better than the original two i thought this was great the way they ended it too it's like how it's difficult to end like big series like this right it's yeah. difficult how, how are we going to show the apes getting away how are they going to survive how are we going to show that the humans aren't going to keep hunting them in every little piece of that plot the way they ended it with the climbing of the trees there's this big avalanche the avalanche didn't seem forest either look they were built into a mountainside they're hit yeah, stuff going off yeah. stuff. oh the shit time. i mean this this movie <laughs> I, 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 like I said, it, it doesn't it doesn't have like that super deep emotional hit for me or or something like that where I can go five, but I'm going to the four point nine five for this movie. Um, Dobby approved. Uh, Dobby <laughs> got knocked over. Oh, <laughs> bad, human. Dobby, bad human. Bad I'm human. Bad human. Knocking Dobby over. Hey, Didn't Dobby hey. say bad Dobby? Bad out. <laughs> bad out. <laughs> start hitting himself. They, yeah. they stole some of the. Uh, <laughs> I wonder. Oh, drop a comment. Do I wonder if there's any like tie-ins there? Because this would have came out after, obviously, the Potter movies. I wonder if they tried, uh, wonder if they tried uh, <laughs> mirroring some of Bad Elf's uh, behaviors after our, our friend Dobby. But again, a phenomenal movie. Yeah. I loved all three of them, but they finished really strong with this Ooh. last one. Well, you did a really good job. Kind of shifted a little bit so they can see that 9.5. Oh, I get a little, little sheen. Little shine there. on there. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Just like our domes after we shave them. So, <laughs> so there we go with a lovely trilogy. So for Appleton Oak, that's Mason Quinn. I'm, of course, the answer. Good night, pals.